We'll go ahead and let uh, Coach Starkey open with an opening statement, and then we'll take questions for our student athletes, <laughs> Megan Carter, Asia Dingle. Coach Starkey? I mean, first and foremost, I'm really proud of um, our fight. You know, we, we just uh, – our fight, but not just that, our, our composure. I thought we did a really good job of coming out of the locker room, third quarter, and really just playing solid basketball. Um, and not getting rattled, you know. I thought we we did a really good job of. They're, they're tough. I mean, just keeping them off the offensive glass is is quite the, uh, um, quite the task. So I thought we did a really good job of of limiting um, their second chance opportunities. They still got some, but they're going to, you know. Um, but uh, but and then our, you know, they put that run on us at the end, and um, I thought we did a really good job of. Uh, holding our composure on the most critical com um, <coughs> possessions down the stretch, and um, and finding a way to win. You know that's what it's about this time of year is find a way. And and um, really proud of these two and the rest of their teammates. But uh, it's nice getting your first win in Cleveland, isn't it, Megan? Really yeah, good it's stuff. Nice. We've we've had some tough games up here, um, and it's nice to come out on the you know the winning side of it for sure. For Asia and Megan, that fourth quarter, that stretch where you kind of went and extended the lead to 15, talk about what got you there. Um, <laughs> we were just being really aggressive um, and moving the ball. I think our ball movement was really good tonight. Um, it they it kind of had them a little frazzled just because they were so aggressive on defense and they were just running around. So I think our ball movement kind of – Got to him. Asia. Uh, I, I agree with that, too. Um, yeah, like Coach said, we just kept our composure and just, like, played our game and, like, don't let, like, the little things get to us. And I guess that's what, like, led to us just keep scoring, keep getting stops, keep rebounding. Second half, half, second half, Buffalo got into foul trouble as a team and really allowed you to get some points at the, paint, uh, at, at the line. Just talk about that advantage in that second half, having that opportunity. Yeah, um, we definitely had to capitalize on that. I think we did really well at the line. That was good. Um, we seen that they had – we were in the bonus, so we had to attack and draw fouls. Yeah, they said that coming over the timeout. I wasn't really even as focused on that as I was us continuing to r run our game plan. And they were the ones that said, hey, they're in the bonus. Let's continue to stay aggressive and get to line. And they did a good job of doing that. Yeah, just talk about being able to – you know. These guys got you twice in regular season by doubles. Uh, they got you in the last two postseasons. I mean, when you you, know, you see they're going to have to play these guys again, it's obviously a huge challenge. But to be able to you know match with match them up physically and be able to come out on top, just how's that feel? Um, it feels really good. I mean, this game was obviously the one that mattered most, and we took advantage of it. So, so what was it like for you guys to play? In an arena with minimal fans, like did it? Did that have any effect on? Cause sometimes fan atmosphere. Our fans were great. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, they were props really to good. Our fans. Yeah. Shout out our fans. You know, we we had yeah, we had uh, every everybody that was on our pass list that was <laughs> able to get in the game. They they contributed to this because yeah. uh, I I I felt like we had we provided. I don't know what the earlier games were like, but I felt like our fans provided a really good atmosphere, and they tried to fill a. 19,000 seater <laughs> as best they could. So it was uh, it was great for it was great for our fans, the ones that were able to come. They they participated in this win, so that was great. Coach, um, fair. You guys were able to really shut her down in the second half. Uh, what did what did you let the team know to make those adjustments and uh, try to keep fair uh, fair uh, under control? Well, I you know. This whole season, I mean, you have two philosophies on really great players, really great scores. You either try and shut them down uh, or you try and just make their t their shots tough and limit everybody else. We're kind of the second second one. So we've had – this is the second time this season we've had players score 36 on us. We had a, we had a uh, conference game where a player scored 32 on us. We had two other conference games where players scored 29 and 30 on us, and we won all those games. And so our philosophy really isn't to be like, how can we just limit fair? It's make her shots tough, make them a volume shooter, and then make sure we limit everybody else. Fair had 36. Nobody else scored more than six for them. So 
it was that was really our game plan and and she hit some really tough shots i mean degree of difficulty was phenomenal but she's a special scorer you know so felt pretty good about our game plan and you know 36 looks bad initially until you look at the bottom line and and it worked out for us freshman katie shoemate hit a three right at the buzzer at the end of the third <coughs> gave you an eight point lead opened the fourth with a bucket and she was one of three freshmen and two sophomore on the floor to start the fourth Mm -hmm. Talk about that youth. Talk about what excitement that is for you going forward. Yeah, I've got a lot of confidence in them. We recruited them to be impact players. And um, Katie, you know, is the first freshman at Kent State to be recognized as an all-conference player since 2008. She's a, she's a, heck, of a heck of a player, a very versatile player. You get look at another freshman, Nyla Blackford, you know, she's been battling back from the concussion she had earlier in the season, had had 14 and 13. You know, the youth movement is strong at Kent State. You know, we've, we've had two freshmen on the all-freshman team the last two seasons. No other team in the conference has had that. So um, us building the program, these are the really the first two recruiting classes that we really focused on is our sophomore and freshman class. And I'm really excited about how they've stepped up throughout the course of the season. And to get postseason experience like this has been really good. Um, first half, they were up on you a little bit. You got a, a technical. Um, it's my first one of the year, <laughs> Alan. I just want to point that out. <laughs> um, but any, you know, I mean, at that I, point, I earned it too. I felt like I, 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 felt I like thought I you definitely it. did. Yeah, earn it. I felt like. I uh, <laughs> but um, it, it, at that point in the game, did you see like she was uh, fair? That is, was kind of getting to places where she wanted to. Pretty much, it looked like she was shoving people around a little bit. Is that what brought that on? And was there a little bit of a a, a, a kind of in the background trying to get you your team fired up and maybe play a little more physical at that point? Or? I just saw a play where I felt like one of our players got pushed in the back with two hands and 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 it was getting physical and they're they're a more physical and bigger team than us and so I just wanted to make sure I drew attention to the physical play and sometimes I'm, I'm a passionate coach I'm not going to apologize for that I you know but but at the same time I was like all right I, I want to make sure that our players know that I have their back if something's going to happen uh, in that situation. So um, I, I lost it for a second there. Uh, I deserved to get a to get a technical. Um, but you know, the rest of the game, I felt like I coached with a lot of composure, and I felt like our players, you know. And Megan said it too. She came over to me and she said, "Coach, we need you," and uh, and I appreciate that. It's it's uh, two way communication is an important thing for a coach. You got to hear stuff from your players and and hear that they need you too, and that hey, coach, we got you, and that type of thing. That does a lot for a coach. You feel like you're connected to them, right? And so that's what happened in that moment. It was, it was, uh, it helped me out, you know. And and we played well from that point forward. We really did. Um, did was there a little bit from from a player perspective of you know we're not going to take this stuff from these guys anymore? A little bit going in to this game. Yeah, we definitely like coming in. Like coach said, like we got to be aggressive, and I feel like we played very aggressive, and like at times when we were like didn't like we were like come on like we gotta bring it to them like how they're bringing it to us so I think that's really was a factor in the game Todd that early fourth quarter obviously that stretch run building the lead to 15 and then comment on that but then also Buffalo's 11-0 run sure we uh and we missed a three in the corner that would have I that kind of sealed it for us uh but we missed that and it came down quickly that was I think that was when it was at 13 um, we missed an, it was Kate. I can't remember who it was in the deep corner and um, got a good look at it. Uh, maybe it's Claire, yeah. Um, missed that, almost went in, and then they raced it down and scored right away. And they got some quick momentum from that. But uh, I thought I thought some of the basketball that we were playing in, in in the middle of the third quarter to early in the fourth quarter was some of the better basketball we've played. Um, and then, uh, like I said, I mean, we've talked about it all, all season. Teams, good teams make runs. And you got to find a way to answer it. We didn't answer that that 11-0 run as quickly as I would have liked to. It it uh, was a little bit more nerve wracking down the stretch than we we wanted. But but I thought we did a we did a good job of of digging in. Um, they made some some really good plays, you know, um, and came right at us. And and this time of year, you know, good players make make good plays. Great players make great plays. And so we had some some great players make some great plays to answer what they what they did. Thank you all. Congratulations. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.